Hi, my name is Peter. I am a C71 quadriplegic, and this is a video on your lumbricals. Um, so first of all, uh, notice there is a change of scenery. Um, it's because I've already been in the standard today, and I thought while I was e-stimming, I might as well show you guys how it works, um, and show you guys how to e-stim another muscle that I'm sure a lot of you would love to have. Um, the lumbricals are four little muscles between the tendons in your hand um, that connect to the fingers and they allow the fingers to make this motion basically the flexion at the MCPs um, and the finger flexion Easton that I showed you earlier is really good for getting these joints uh, the ones at the DIPs to um, contract, but not so good for the lumbricals. Um, so if you want to focus on the lumbricals, I have my eSIM hooked up actually to my arm right now. Um, you will see that there's one, it's not entirely on the tendon, it's more out towards this muscle or this bone um, on your hand, and it'll be right there. Um, and that should get it connecting to these two lumbricals, the third and the fourth one, for these two fingers. Um, and then the other electrode has to be kind of in an awkward place, like on the side of your arm, kind of partially on the forearm and partially on the side. Um, my electrodes aren't sticking very well today, so I need to use more water, actually. Our water keeps them stuck. Um, but with the electrodes on those parts of your arm, if I turn mine on, <laughs> it beeps when I can't find the muscle because a lot of my muscles are really small and weak, but it's kicking in right now, um, and I'm not doing much of the contraction by myself, but I'm trying. My lumbricals are still very weak, um, but they should eventually get to the point where they can make that whole fist. Um, I've only been used to me the lumbricals for about a week, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, if you have an eSIM, work on that. If you do not have an eSIM and you still want to work on your lumbricals, uh, there's plenty of ways to do it. The best way that my OT showed me is to get your hand over a surface. Um, I sometimes do this like at my desk or just over my armrest. Um, shut up. Um, I'm going to wait till this 15 second bout of electricity goes, but I create a surface that's kind of flat, put my fingers over the edge, and then kind of like get the balls of your fingers on that surface, and then try and wrap all the way around, and the most important part is focus on trying to get these down. You should feel it inside your hand, because these are the muscles that are working. They should be very angry with you because you're working them very hard. And if you don't have a lot of movement there, um, then just keep trying, visualize it. So like on this hand, which is our stinky hand, um, I can try and visualize it. I can get a little bit of flexion with the lumbricals, but not a lot. And so, you just try. Um, try, you know, holding it for five seconds, letting go for five. Holding it for five, let it go for five. Do it over and over. Um, my OT has me doing it about ten times in a row with a 30 second break. Three times. I do it five times, because I'm a weirdo like that. But, hopefully, it'll be working, so. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Um, I will answer them to the best of my ability, and happy healing.